Today we'll be making this time displacement typography, or in other words, a VHS text effect. Create a new composition and call it text. Make a text layer and write the first word, create. Center it. Duplicate the text layer and disable the first text layer for convenience. Write the word this in the text duplicate. Duplicate the text layer once again and write the word effect. Now we have three text layers. Disable the last two layers and work with the first one. Add a transform effect to it. We need to move the anchor point to the beginning of our text, but the point starts moving with the text itself. To fix it, hold Alt and click on the position. Track it to the anchor point parameter. Now, when everything works as required, set the anchor point at the beginning of the word. Now we need to shrink the text layer. To do this, disable uniform scale. Now we got the scale width parameter. Animate the scale width parameter. Set the first keyframe on the zero frame and set the value to zero. Set the second keyframe to 50th frame and the value to 100. Repeat the second keyframe in 25 frames and in another 50 frames, set the keyframe with zero value again. This animation won't be the best choice for us because in the end, the animation is shrinking back to the first letter while we need it to shrink to the last letter. That's exactly why we need to animate the anchor point where the first keyframe will be placed on the 25th frame with the point at the beginning of the letter, and the second keyframe will be placed on the 75th frame with the point at the end of the letter. Exactly what we wanted to achieve. If you're into animation, check our 4,000 templates for video editing. Here you can find dozens of video templates for your project, from title animation to YouTube outros and much more. Pick a template for the software you use and preview all categories included inside. Video editing has never been easier. So make sure you have visited our easyedit.pro website. Now, select all of the keyframes of the scale width parameter and easy ease them with Fn plus F9. Set the speed graphs. Copy our transform effect and paste it into two other words. Enable the layers and make a 75 frame offset for each layer. That's the animation you should get by doing all this.
Now, create a new composition and call it a gradient map. Create a shape layer inside of it and in the fill options, select linear gradient. It should look like this with the white color stop in the middle of it. Stretch it vertically like this. Get back to the text composition and drop the gradient map composition inside. We can disable it for now. Create a new adjustment layer and call it time displacement. Add a time displacement effect to it. And link the time displacement layer to the gradient map. Set the max displacement time value to 0.8 and time resolution FPS to 45. You can experiment with these parameters. Create another adjustment layer and call it Glow. Add a glow effect to it and set the glow radius to 14. Drop the text composition into the new one and call it main comp. Add a posterized time effect to our composition and set the frame rate to 15. Now we need to duplicate the composition three times. Call the duplicates red, green, and blue text. Add a shift channels effect to our text red composition and leave only the red channel active. Copy the effect and paste it into the text green layer, leaving only the green channel active. Repeat the same for the blue channel. Choose the Add Blending mode for these layers. Now we need to offset all these layers one frame forward.
Now let's add our footage to the main composition. If you want to use the same footage as we do, check the link in the description. The footage is shorter than we need, so we'll time remap it and write down the loop out expression. Let's add another footage. These distortions will give our text the VHS style we need. Now we can disable this layer. Create a new adjustment layer and add a displacement map effect to it. Also, repeat the same for our second footage. Time remap it and write down the loop out expression to drag our footage on the whole composition. Get back to our adjustment layer and link our footage in the displacement map layer. We can see the distortions in our text. Now, add a noise effect and set the amount of noise to 15%. Add some aberrations to the upper text layer. To do this, add two effects to it, optics, compensation and 3D glasses. Set the field of view to 20 and enable the Revisit Lens distortion parameter. Now, in the left view, select the text layer and in the 3D view parameter, select balance colored red blue. Set the balance to 24. We can experiment with those settings further to achieve better results. Our time displacement effect is ready. If you like the result, make sure to hit the like button and follow our channel for more tutorials. See you in next video.